In this video, we are going to show you the user interface and some major functions and tools available for you in Solid Edge. Once you open Solid Edge, this pop-up window comes out, which lets the user decide what they want to work on, whether it is a part, assembly, sheet metal, or an engineering drawing. Also, the user has the option if they want to work in metric or customary system. Once you have decided what you want to work on, click on the icon. For this example, we will select the metric part option just to demonstrate. Now that you are in the active workspace, you can use the drop down menu to change team, customize ribbons, or hide them. The balance team is a good option to begin with. On the left side of the screen, you can see the Pathfinder. Pathfinder contains all elements in the active document. You can select elements in the Pathfinder and control their display. Furthermore, by right-clicking on the synchronous in the Pathfinder, you can change the modeling mode from synchronous to ordered. On the bottom right of the screen, you can find different view options, including zoom, pan, and different views. Also, Plane Cube can help you navigate the different views of your model. To find commands quickly, use the command finder located on the bottom right of the screen. You can search for the commands by command name or by capability. Command finder also aids more experienced users migrating to SolidEdge from other products. Type in a search term or a keyboard from a competing product will find the matching command in SolidEdge. For example, typing shell in the command bar will give you the echo command in SolidEdge. At the bottom of the screen, you can find the prompt bar, which displays prompts and messages related to the command that you select. If you are stuck on what is the next step to take to complete the command you have selected, try to pay attention to the prompt bar. If you want to select an element that you cannot easily highlight with the cursor, you can use the quick pick list to select the element. Just move the cursor over the element, stop moving the mouse, and right click when the quick pick prompt is displayed. If you are still in need of help and tutorials, another useful tool is the help button. Help tool is not limited to just commands, but can find any tips and tutorials for the subject matter that a user requires. Additional online links are available in the help tool that can guide the user to necessary information and tutorials. There are many other tabs available in SolidEdge, as you can see on the top, including simulation, generative design, and reverse engineering. These tabs can help you in all aspects of your design. Now it's time for you to start designing with SolidEdge, and if you have any problems, don't forget to use the SolidEdge user community website for more help.